Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maura Lizzie. You can also welcome me Ijele. I want to thank all my viewers, my subscribers, everybody that have loved my video in any way, commented and um, liked it or shared it. I say may God bless you all. And for people that are new to my channel, please hit the subscription button so that you can get notifications whenever I drop a new video. And for people that are new to my channel, I'm sorry, people that have been to my channel but they have not subscribed, please do so, so that you can as well get notifications whenever I drop a new video. So today, I am not going to talk about BBA related matters. In this video, I am going to talk about relationship matters because that is what actually the channel is about. The channel is about relationships. So um, how I fix relationship based on people's zodiac sign. So today, although the BBM matters, I also um, treat their relationship matters in the house. But today, I have something to talk about that actually triggered me to say a thing, one or two things about that. So um, there is a post I came across that I wanted to share with you guys and then talk about why that particular aspect of a relationship cannot be undermined. So the, I will first read it to you guys, then we talk and deliberate about it. So the post goes thus. Hi, mom. I had a baby three months ago. My husband left when I was three, uh, three months as in postpartum. Oh, sorry, three months pregnant or three months gone. So he, he isn't based in Nigeria, so he hasn't seen the baby and he's coming on soon to see his baby. Since I put to bed, he has not been home. So ever since he left, I have been addicted to masturbation. I can't stop myself and I love rough sex. But Hobby prefers lovemaking because he doesn't want to hurt me in bed. I masturbate to rough sex videos. I hate sex with hobby because I feel he always he's always boring. And uh, I hate kissing, but my husband loves it a lot. I rather get choked and uh, slapped because that turns me on in bed. But my husband is very gentle. He doesn't want to hurt me. Uh, he's coming back soon and keeps talking about how he's going to make love to me. I prefer my masturbation. I don't know how to get over it and enjoy sex with my husband. How? First of all, we have to understand that there is two big difference between sex and lovemaking. Sex is sex and lovemaking is another part of it. So sex can be done with everyone, anywhere, irrespective of whether you are in the mood or not, just have sex. Like referring to it like an exercise. And then lovemaking is an act of showing someone that you are deeply and emotionally connected to them. You know, there is a rhythm or there is a way a man makes love to a woman. And there is still a way people have sex. Men, uh, a man and a woman, sex is just sex. No emotional attachment. Just do it roughly or do it anyhow you then fit that is what it means here contextually so sex or love making whatever it is or intimacy between a man and woman is an integral part of a relationship specifically marriage if you ask me but because of the work generation everybody do have sex now is no longer for the married so let us incorporate it from uh, the way it is with the generation so sex or love making is an integral part when the word integral means very vital or very important part of a relationship so from here it is clear that this woman I'm, I'm going to discuss her matter here loves rough sex she doesn't love want you to make love to her she just wants to be literally choked or, or slapped while in the process so 
That is why I will take us all back to the zodiac because most times whenever a problem arises you will see many relationship um, uh, motivational speakers they say a lot of things at the end of the day they are the most divorced because they don't even know where the problem is coming from and they are the ones that are also sex starved the most because they don't know where the problem is coming from all they wanted to know is to talk make money or better still just make be famous but they don't know where the problem is coming that's why they will only talk but rarely give solution probably the little solu the solution they give actually affects uh helps a little set of people because those were the people it was meant to help naturally so this takes us back to the zodiac all the fire signs are love having sex and not love making because they are action oriented they are driven they are aggressive they are passionate because of that the way they handle love making comes off like sex because they are not deeply emotionally attached in most cases likewise the air signs as well so um zodiac sign like aries has normally has sex because of the way they are they are ruled by the planet mars which is a planet of aggression they get aggressive with everything sex words every damn thing with their emotions as well so this makes them to be prone to sex in bed and not love making because for an Aries personality from uh, their men and their women everything goes from zero to hundred with the speed of light they love steamy sex hot steamy sex anywhere everywhere that is the fire all the fire signs for you at the couch trunk of cars club anywhere they are ever ready because to them sex is an adventure they will love to have sex sometimes they have fantasies they will prefer to have sex in an open field they will prefer to have sex in a club toilet they will prefer to have sex on the couch anywhere the urge comes it is settled they want to do it anywhere and anyhow as long as the both partners are healthy so to them they don't really need you to put sex in your shadow like the earth signs all the earth signs schedule for sex they don't just wake up and start having sex capricorn they would like to they will put sex the way it's that that as in let it enter their work routine probably they work on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and they decide to have sex at weekend and this will not go down well with a fire sign if you match them or make them a couple because that one wants to have sex anytime anywhere any day two for seven so if you match somebody that wants to have sex anytime anywhere adventurously to somebody that wants to get in the room close all the cut uh, the window blinds and uh, you know don't like public display of affection and then does uh, takes their time weekly or monthly or whatever for sex you are going to frustrate the person that wants sex every time every day two for seven so in this woman's case she loves rough sex she wants to be handled roughly in bed that is what actually turns her on unfortunately she married somebody that doesn't do that somebody that is calm cool and collected in this context is like merging Aries or Gemini woman with a Capricorn man that is what this context is because Capricorn natives are practical grounded and systemic they are calm cool collected guys they have laid down rules in doing things they will take a certain step certain time certain together with somebody that wants to freak out like a gemini woman that wants to probably drink before having sex or probably 
wants to do something adventurous because they are very very curious and adventurous and the gemini woman wants to change experience a lot of things in bed they don't want you to get them stuck with missionary style or one particular style forever they want you to move from you keep spicing up the, your sex life they want you to move from you know this to this this to that 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 is what keeps their curiosity that is what keeps them wanting you if you keep giving them one thing they, because of their flirtatious energy they will immediately move from one person to another if that person offers them something that stimulates their curiosity something that they are not regularly used to so what actually got me interested in this is that the lady in question is actually not a virgin she said her ex-lover is a rough sex rider and that actually turns her on so why will she decide to enter a long-term relationship like marriage with somebody that has very 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 low turn on for rough sex somebody that is very cool calm collected and makes love against somebody that wants everything to literally choke her or better still um what she said she wants to be slapped and you know spank the boots all that or probably this uh um handcuffing and uh, flogging whatever kind of sex that is is what turns this lady on unfortunately she went and married a cook and cook. so what is the essence so that is why i always tell us find the person whose lifestyle and perspective to life matches your own that is the only way you can hit 25 years in marriage without being frustrated 30 35 40 without being frustrated because, like I said, you can't change yourself and nobody, nobody is going to change for you. The truth is that, let me tell you, if somebody wants to marry you and decided to change so that they, you will accept them, be rest assured that before one year, they are going to go back to who they are times two. Because by that time, all the love and all the affection and whatever, whatever is nose diving, is declining so what i'm trying to say is if you are ready to settle down in marriage sex is an integral part of marriage and you must find somebody that is sexually compatible with you based on their zodiac sign as well some zodiac sign wants to make love scorpios wants to make love because they believe in love and uh, they are deeply connected in love so for them to have sex they have to love that person deeply and be emotionally connected so to them sex is not just an exercise sex is a deep connection that is why you find it hard for a scorpio woman to to have flings if they have if they ever have flings they actually fancy that person they're actually attracted to that person and if you have sex with them and deny them or something like dump them they will be deeply hurt because sex is not just an exercise. They can't have sex with every tongue they can hurry. Because sex to them is deep. Love to them is deep. Likewise, cancers. But for a Gemini woman or Gemini native and um, Aquarius native Libra, oh, then Sagittarius, um, Aries, these natives experience sex like an adventure is the avenue for them to show their strength because Sagittarius has physical strength uh, is an avenue for them to showcase what they have learned is an avenue for them to discover new things is an avenue for them to stimulate their curiosity is an avenue for them to to you know um, you know experience adventure they are very adventurous so to them sex is an avenue or an opportunity to do whatever that tickles their fancy it's not like and when things didn't go 
the way they planned or maybe probably after the sex everybody decided to go their way then these natives that i called would not be as hot as the emotional ones because the emotional ones before they have sex they invest a lot of emotions they can't just wake up and start having sex it can start from texting um checking up on you smiling with you loving cuddling and all that that is a series of bonding processes before you finally get to the sexual part of it but for a gemini or a sagittarius and all that they just need a mental connection they don't need to bond with you they can just meet you connect on any level or probably because you speak well and you talk about travel a lot and you are experienced and you are exposed and all whatnot before you say jack pants are down because that is who they are that is the way they are wired and that is why i always say don't blame the individual blame it on their zodiac sign because that is the way they are born some people will say having se sex on uh, first date makes the person cheap it doesn't make anyone cheap for some men it actually turns them on that is why you'll be wondering okay somebody will say i've been keeping myself i've been keeping my body and this person just has sex with that man and the man proposed to her because sex is one of the things that he wanted for her to bring on the table i'm going to make a video specifically for that for people that always used to say that having sex on this, on the first date makes a woman cheap or makes a man cheap irrespective of the thing, uh, gender if it is what the particular person because for you to get a ring from somebody there are there are some certain things they want you to bring on the table so if sex is one of the things they want you to bring on the table then you have the ring some people will be extremely turned off if they make love advan uh, advances to you and you turn them down especially the earth sign women capricorn um, virgo and taurus takes a whole lot of time before you get to the sexual aspect of it so some people will really 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 be turned off or pissed off because they actually wanted it hot 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 like cancers scorpios as well as long as they have the emotional connection with you they feel they love you so much the next is sex because they are very freaky so this is it for now until i come next time please for people that have been asking of my email i will put it in the description box um if there is anything you want to discuss about or talk about in your relationship please email me so that i can tell you whatever you want to know and we can as well discuss it and then in the comment section i want you people to tell me um how do you think it uh, is better in marriage is it for a person that loves love making to mar be married to somebody that loves sex or for somebody that loves sex to be made with somebody that loves sex too like for my own contextual um description of sex and love making so till i come next time i'm still your host Mara lizzie bye